everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and I love helping mamas by sharing videos on faith, family, home, and food. So if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do so and click that little bell so you'll be notified when another video is uploaded. So today I'm here to share with you all what planner I'm using to plan our homeschool um, weekly schedules and things like that. So this year I'm using two planners and I'm using the Happy Planner. I use one, the small planner. Um, well, not the small, small planner, like the basic size planner um, for my everyday, you know, for all the things I need to do, the cooking, the home things, my business, and everything like that. I have everything in that planner, but I don't write everything in there for homeschool. I like a separate planner for homeschooling, so I'm using this one. One kind word can change the world. I have a hard time, y'all, finding planners now that don't have some crazy quote on the front so i love animal print animal print is my favorite color so i found this one and i really like it last year when we began homeschooling in november i used um, a happy planner but it was a memory planner it was undated so i used that and i really liked the large um layout i really liked that so i wanted um something that I had a lot of room to work with and so in it I just have like in the beginning I have the calendar from last year I printed out this one calendar from the confessions of a homeschooler it was kind of light um, I wanted to create one of my own didn't get a chance to yet so I'm just using this to put in you know when we're gonna have our vacation making sure we have the right amount of days for homeschool so I printed that out I haven't punched it yet so I do need to punch that this is just the one from last year that I printed out and this is my little cheat sheet to know how many days um, she has to have school and this is the attendance sheet that I printed out last year and I'm using something in the back for this year these are just some little sheets that I printed out last year for the memory planner and I wanted to keep them just in case I try to um, use them again this year. I wanted to know what my layout looked like. So then I just had this little um, This is a Martha Stewart insert. It has just a zipper here and a couple pockets um, This is so much to do. This is also another happy planner um, Sheets and when I need to write something I just you know write them up in there so one thing I'm not using a lot in this planner is the calendar layout because I am using the calendar layout in my main planner, but I will put, like I put um, when school began, the day we began school, I put our um, off days on it if we're having an off day or if she has a doctor's appointment, but that is also in my main planner. So I don't fill up this as much, um, of course, as we will probably want our planners to look with a whole lot of stuff in it, but I just don't. So, um, this is just like some of the past weeks. I am going to be doing a video on how I plan out our week. So, when we first began school, we weren't doing Bible study yet. So, we were doing going through Proverbs. So, each day we read a um, book, a chapter in Proverbs, and we discussed that. And so, I just have here going across um, our science, what we're doing for science, our history, Here's some little um, half sheets that I picked up um, as well when I picked up the planner and I just wrote out our schedule. This is our lunch section, um, math. We hadn't started economics yet and this was our um, this is our language arts section here. So some of them um, you'll see more they have been filled out. That was like the first week of school so it wasn't filled out as much. Some they have some really pretty pages so I'm sure I'm going to repurpose these dividers because they are some of them are really cute anyway not all of them but the layout here is on um, the beginning of the month it has top priorities students birthdays and goals um events and holidays because this is created for a teacher so that's why it has it like that and then we have the month at a glance and then um each day is straight across. Um, I don't think I've ever had this style planner even for myself and my own personal planner, but I do like it because it gives me so much room to be able to write down what we need to do in the different subjects. And in the back here, um, they have the classroom 
checklist. I'm still trying to figure out how to use this section. I wanted to use it for attendance, but um, I'm like drawing a blank on how to use it. I wanted to use it for assignments. Still drawing a blank. So if, if you all are, any of you are using this planner and you have um, decided on what you're going to use the classroom checklist for, let me know. Some Share some ideas with me because I'm stumped. As you can see, I have began putting her subjects here and was going to add her grades to different things she did, but the flow wasn't working for me. So I still just have to figure out, and it's quite a bit of pages, so I don't want them to go to waste. So hopefully I can, um, you know, we'll be able to use them. It will be nice to keep it you know as record keeping also I do use this planner at the end of the year when it's done just to archive it to show um, have some more proof of what we're doing the different subjects we've done and things like that just for backup along with all her different assignments and her notebook another thing I'm using I picked these up uh, a few weeks ago I wanted I love using post-it notes to scribble something down that I'm not ready to write in my planner right away um, and I want, but I needed something bigger. The smaller post-it notes, sometimes they're not enough room. So I found these at Meijer, um, and I'm sure they have them everywhere, but they're the different color post-its and I can write different things on them, um, you know, with more length and brainstorm or whatever I need to do to put in her planner. If we have a, um, a unit study that I want to do and I want to take some notes or write down some things that we need to pick up. I've been using these and I love them because they have a lot of room. One thing I noticed, post-it notes are very expensive. These were, I don't know, want to say about 10 bucks, maybe seven, between seven to ten dollars, which I thought that was kind of pricey. So, so when I was like, okay, if I'm going to get them, I need to get the ones that I really want. I didn't want to get some that were just cheap and they weren't what I wanted. So that is another thing that I'm using to help um, accessorize our you know our weekly schedule so this is the planner i'm using for this year and i hope you enjoyed me sharing it with you um let me know what planner are you using for homeschool are you using a separate planner from your main planner or or do you just have one planner but i felt this year i did need to um separate my planners and have two i usually like to use one many times before i've tried one two three multiple I can't do more than two. That's enough. But I do need my main planner for everyday things that are going on. The bills, home, things, appointments, and all that. My business. I like to keep all of that in one planner so I can look at it in one view and know what's going on. So I hope you all enjoyed me sharing with you what planner we're using this year for homeschool. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. This is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com. Bye-bye.